Hello, in this video I want to show you how to write math symbols very easily. Or is it easy? I'm not sure. So what do I talk about? What do I talk about? I talk about these kinds of symbols or whatever. Actually, you can write anything much easier. But let's focus on the math symbols because they are like sometimes really a pain in the cheek. Or you try to use something like latex. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm talking about this thing. But then it has to be supported, so it's kind of annoying. So at least if you have Unicode characters in, I don't know, in a forum or in a news group, you can use these characters. So, but you have to search them and then you have to insert them. And if you don't have a file like me, like this, um, then it's really not nice. So, and what do I mean when I'm talking about easy? I mean, like, let's write um, unequal. Or, like, about or element of something so it's pretty easy for me how does it work you need Japanese input for using that I think you can actually also do this on Linux I'm using this on Windows at the moment what you need is the Microsoft IME input method that looks like this if you have installed that this is a German Windows 7 PC, so it might look different on your English PC, but let's just try it. You have something like region and language, and then you have something like keyboards and language, and then you have like the keyboards you can use, and you have the, maybe the German one, you have the English one, and what you need is the Japanese Microsoft IME one. Just let me show you that usually you have two keyboard supported here in the Japanese and Microsoft IME. What you want is Microsoft IME. Japanese is, you don't need that. Just forget about it. Just Microsoft IME. And then you have like another tab or I'm not sure how it looks like on Windows 10. And it shows you how to switch between languages if you want to use the keyboard as I do. What I would really highly recommend for writing it fluently. And yeah, uh, by the way, on my PC, it's like Alt and Shift. Okay, then you have installed everything. Um, how do you get the symbols, right? They, they are not like included from the beginning, except if you know Japanese and write, and you know that Gai means like this symbol. Um, so you need to add your own words to your Japanese dictionary, kind of. You have two options. You press Control and F10, and this nice menu will open, or you have this small arrow here and you can hit the uh, oh um yeah you can activate add word or entry here and then you click this thing then you're in this new dialog and maybe you have noticed that my how you call that the keyboard layout the keyboard input method um has switched to german again because i'm in a new window always when you're in a new window you have to switch again what you need for adding is you need Japanese input. That's very necessary. Don't try it with English, it won't work. So for example, you have this, um, the rational numbers down here. And just type in rational numbers. Rational numbers. Looks pretty crappy. And uh, you see this as like, like a lot of dots in the bottom. It's actually a line. If you hit enter, then the line finishes. And you just leave it like this. And whatever sign you want it to display, you just put it in this box so you can also if you want you can like put a lot of signs in there you can even like put some HTML in, in there like uh, like this it just cannot go over one line you just have one very long line though and then you click add and then we have the editor again and we type in what do we type in rational number and you see what I just typed in. It might happen if you unfortunately use some expression that is also in the Japanese language, then you get, and you hit space too much, you get this. Oh, by the way, sorry, let, let's explain that again. I'm, I'm too used to that. So you type in rational numbers and you see this line over here, the, down, the line in the bottom. And that line says the word is not yet finished and you need to finish it with enter. But you can also choose different words that refer to that. And for that, you hit the space bar. And you see the straight line. And that says that this word is recognized as one word. It might happen that you have like breaks in the middle of the line. 
then you can hit the shift key and move the arrows as you can see so I tell them what is the word and as you probably only operating on one single word when you use a uh, math characters you always want the whole word to be marked here and then you hit the spacebar hit it again and then you get this nice sub menu here and you just choose what you want which also means that you can have the same entry for different like replaces so let's just make this one we type in rational numbers again we hit enter again and now we just write like a long list of A's and we add that uh, and we type in this one and we hit space and we hit space again so whatever you want you can like have a lot of entries here for a lot of words okay let's say like me you just messed up with what you did um, you want to delete the words then you just hit control and F10 you get this nice menu again and hit the dictionary tool or you hit that small arrow here activate the dictionary tool here that makes it visible here and then you can click it here and then it opens and um, unfortunately it was a long list so you see that already and then you have then you see kind of this thing and you just mark the word you want to delete and hit the delete button and yes we want to delete it and we also want to delete this one and we're finished okay next question where do you actually get these symbols from to like insert it in the first place um, first I will try to insert all these signs inside the video description or you use this nice Wikipedia site list of mathematical symbols if you want the link it's here unfortunately as of today you cannot uh, really use that English version because you don't have the Unicodes in here at least not with my method so just switch to the German one which says Deutsch and then you get a lot of German content and you scroll down scroll down and let's zoom out a little and then you start seeing these symbols on the left side and for example you want to have this one unfortunately you cannot just copy and paste it what you need is to look out for this number it's a so-called Unicode number and then you open Word or any other program software that can convert Unicode characters and then you type in this number in Word like 2205 then you mark the number and you hit alt L, alt 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 and C I'm not sure about the pronunciation and as you see you get that symbol and now you can copy it and just paste it in the add word dialog and so you can do this basically with all of these things like example this one it's very easy because you can actually write it on the keyboard but let's try it 7b and we have 007 D so we make this one and we make this one sometimes you have combinational symbols like this one the inversion symbol then you open word again and I'm never sure which one it gets so let's write this one 0305 Alt and C and you see that the A got not A so you can copy that and paste it in there okay a note why can you not use the English Wikipedia for that because it does not have the Unicode codes the Unicode codes yeah it did not have the Unicode codes when I just checked it I mean it might have them sometime later in the future okay yeah and that's basically it let me just show you one last example of what you are cap capable of with these things. Switch to Japanese. The best examples are the ones that fail. Okay, you type in, I type in this one, and now I get like the root, the square root in HTML version. Why do I need that? Because I have my Anki here, and here I can set it to HTML input, paste it here, and then I have the nice square root of, I don't know, three. Of course, if you're using Enki, you could also use this nice plugin that the guy wrote where you can like add random stuff to your Enki. But that's a different story.
So these are the capabilities. If you did not get anything in this video, if you have any question, just ask in the comments. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.